Well, just, just talk about this week of the bowl prep. How do you think it's going for you guys? Uh, I think um, um, this week of bowl prep has been going really good. Well. You know, we, we got a couple days to work on our, on us, you know, getting all the flaws and things that we need to uh, fix up. And, you know, I think it's been going real well so far. You, you remember this week being a young guy, Myron Burton and mm -hmm. Tony Stevens, mm -hmm. those guys. What have you seen out of them now that they're kind of getting a chance to get more reps? You know, I've seen a lot out of those guys. Now, you know, you know, they always got a little more things that they have to work on. But uh, those guys are going to be uh, the bright future for this program, and I can't wait to see it. Anybody stick out from that group of younger Yeah, players? just as you said, Myron Burks and um, Tony Stevens, those guys, Marcus Davis. You know, Marcus Davis has been here so and, and been playing. You know, they came at the same time. But Marcus, you know, got a little experience of playing in some games, making some big-time catches when we need it. But, you know, as far as, like, Tony and Myron, those guys haven't really been been through into that fire yet, and, and I'm sure when their time comes, they'll be up for the task. As a receiving group, how do you guys approach it when there's some uncertainty with Duke, you know, being out of practice and his availability to the team? You know, we just step our play up a little bit more, you know. Um, we just we just know that he um, is down and out right now, and we just know like, whenever we come back, it will be, it'll be exactly where we left off at, and we just know that we have to um, pick, up, pick up the slack. Is Marcus kind of the heir apparent? Yeah, uh, you know, Coach Malzahn, you know, like last year, Malzahn, I would say, he kind of reminded me of you when you first came in, you know, and, and, and sometimes I can see that because, you know, Marcus would always come up to me and ask me questions, you know, Marcus is a real smart guy, and, and, you know, and it shows on the field, you know, he don't, he's not that big, but, you know, you don't have to be that big to make impact you know, on the field. How has he handled kind of, I mean, his, his role's kind of increased a little bit this year. He yeah. was that kind of that two-minute guy, that, that mm -hmm. you know, slot guy, and, yeah, really. yeah, you know, we just got a different personnel. You know, each year may be different, but you know, I just tell him, just hold his head, just keep grinding, man. You know, just keep doing what you, what got you here. And, you know, um, everything's gonna take care of itself. You know, because we, we, we leave this year. You know, uh, and um, they're definitely gonna have to step up that role. Quite how important is it for you to go out of winning this game? It's really important, you know, because I'm a true Auburn man. You know, I've been here three and a half. I'm going on four years, and you know, I love it. And, and just to get that nice win, it's going to be real big, you know, because I think we'll have like 20 something wins within t uh, two years. And I think that's that's been like a, a record or something in history or, or something like that. But it, it's going to be um, it's going to be real fun to get this nice win. You have made the punt return average being the leading punt return in the country is kind of a goal for the season. You're second. You're right. pretty. You're within shouting distance. When right. you're going to be back there returning punts in the right. Outback Bowl. Yeah, well, you, are you are you more eager to yeah. always return and not make a fair catch knowing that? Just make smart decisions. Coach Horton, you know, he always teaching me up a uh, uh, make a smart decision. You know, back there, if if I got the go green light and, and I think I can make a play on it, then I'll just go try to do that. But I know, obviously, if they write in my face, then you know, just go on a fair catch. It. But you know, I'm gonna be aggressive than I have all year. Do you know yeah, anything yeah. about their Wisconsin's, you know, special teams defense? And yeah, we've been watching film all week on. You know, they're pretty, they're pretty solid. They're a different team, you know, up front. Um, but I think we have a chance to, um, you know, turn the game around in special teams. But we, we were having to do that all year, but that's going to be our goal for this game. And as far as their defense, Coach Malzahn says he remind, they reminded a lot of Kansas State. Right. They've been their top five total defense mm -hmm. right now. How, how difficult is the matches is that? Um, it, you know, it, it's somewhat difficult, but we just got to come out and execute and, and make throws and, and make the runs when we. We have to. If we do that, we'll be we'll be good. So on defense, what difference have you seen from your defense just in this week having Will Muschamp kind of on the field? You, has, has it ramped up the intensity? Oh, yeah, of excitement. Side? A lot of excitement, man. Those guys out there flying around, you know, and, and it, it's really crazy to me because I'm seeing them guys out there. I'm like, wow, man. That's you know, they like they alive now for some for some reason. You know, I guess the Muschamp came in and got those boys on a, a different edge. But yeah, I like the intensity and the energy that they're playing with. How strange you think it is for them that they they're almost auditioning for jobs next season, even though they're not being coached yet by us. Yeah, they, you know that those guys know that they really are getting evaluated right now. It's still the, this year, and they're still getting evaluated for next year. So you know those guys want to make a good impression early, so it so it won't be hard for them later on. So they already know that that type of ball player that they really are. You get to go against a lot of those young guys on the other side. Who's a name that that people might not know as much now that they'll know? Um, I say probably um, Stephen Roberts, you know, from right down the street, Open Life, and um, you know, um, at safety, Moncrief. Moncrief is gonna um, 
do do what he does back there. You know, it's a lot of young guys I think, man, that that's gonna come out next year and make a lot of noise. Cause those guys got that that grind, and I see them. You know, I watch them grind, and, and I'm I'm sure Coach Russell's gonna get them gonna get them where they're supposed to be, and, and I'm just ready to see it.